Madeleine Kittner, Humboldt Universität zu Berlin. How data integration and text mining can support personalized cancer therapy. Yeah, hello. I want to show you um, how computer science can support personalized cancer therapy. Um, we all know, I think, that even the same cancer type can manifest itself in a number of very different mutation patterns. And we have heard in many talks today that um, the green one, no, the other green one, yes, that it's still an ongoing challenge to discover all the links between mutation patterns, variations, how they affect signaling, and how certain drugs change the pharmacokinetics. While on the other side, it's also a challenge to give this vast and complex knowledge back to the clinicians in a way it is useful for them so that they can actually provide personalized cancer therapy and help patients. So we are taking up on the second challenge and therefore together with clinicians and scientists, we are building a cancer knowledge base. So they are the clinicians are the users of the database and they know also what kind of sources need to be included. So what we are doing is we are using a number of existing databases, for example, to include links between mutations, genes and diseases. We use um, the Cancer Genome Atlas or COSMIC to get links between genes and drugs. Um, we use databases like CIVIC or the NIH trials and a lot of other um, databases. For any kind of knowledge that is probably not collected in um, this structured way, we are also using text mining, as you have heard in the presentation from um, Johannes before. So here we try to, ex to be, um, get the same kind of links from scientific literature as well as from medical documents. The knowledge base then can be used such that um, you can start with a list of um, significant mutations that you get from the, um, the tumor material of the patient and the knowledge base then gives you a list of um, therapeutic implications ranked by the clinical evidence, which is something that can be used by clinicians. So, and we are working together with clinicians and the knowledge base is built in order to be applied during molecular tumor board meetings. Such meetings are only starting to happen in um, cancer centers, like in the Charité or in Tübingen or in, also <coughs> in Heidelberg. Um, while, while regular tumor board meetings is something that is established already. Um, here are in the molecular meetings, especially patients are discussed for whom none of the general treatments have worked so far, so the molecular information is necessary here. You, the clinicians can use the knowledge base to get a list of ranked therapeutic implications and we will also provide them with a tumor workbench that they can use to visualize the results during the meetings, view more details, go back to in the actual references and which should help them making decisions. Of course, we're not doing this on our own. This is a big project and there are a number of people involved. Thank you very much.